This presentation is um, for the Fire Maple brand of stove stand and also the Brunton brand stove stand. These are similar appearing type stands, but there are some minor differences in the overall appearance, and this video will highlight some of those differences. One of the differences is the box design. The Fire Maple comes in a foreign language with only a few English words that are present on the box. Uh, some of the apparently key points that are along the side of the box are again also in a foreign language. It would have been nice to have known what these say. If you look at item number five, where it says five kilograms, I assume that that means that the maximum carrying capacity of the stove stand is approximately five kilograms, but I can only assume that. It would be nice if anybody uh, who understands this language could put a comment into the video as to what the translation for these various uh, points on the box are. Uh, that would be appreciated. The Brunton stand box, on the other hand, is um, in English and in French, and uh, the instructions that are in the box also are in those languages. Uh, they are, on the other hand, not in, in the uh, Oriental language that is seen with the fire maple, so that if this was being sent to someone overseas in the Orient, they would be at an equal um, disadvantage trying to figure out what was on the uh, box. So I suppose it depends on your point of view as to who has the better box. This also has, when you open up the box, instructions that are in it that also are in English. The Fire Maple does not come with any uh, instructions at all. This also has some additional languages. It has a warranty card and general information that is for this. This is obviously English. This is, I think it's in French here. On the other hand, the Fire Maple um, insert uh, has a um, nice plastic box that the contents are encased in and the um, uh, Brunton stand does not have that. The Brunton does not come with that nice plastic case that the Fire Maple came with, but it comes with something that the Fire Maple did not come with, and that is it comes with a windscreen this is a typical aluminized windscreen that you find with a lot of backpacking stoves. I'm not planning on using it, but it's there. One of the advantages of having these stoves, uh, stove stands is that they allow a windscreen to be placed around them, uh, which normally would trap heat and could make uh, the type of stoves that sit directly on top of a canister somewhat dangerous. This is the box contents as it comes from the company. It is a plastic box, which is fairly nice to have. And when you open it up, these are the components that are within it, all nicely wrapped. There's a small bag here that has some O-rings in it. The larger O-ring goes to one of the um, screws that's on the bottom of the stand. These small O-rings go to some valves that are in various places. The O-ring that is within this area though appears to be a different size than is the one that is provided in this little bag. So if this O-ring ever needs replacement, I'll probably have to go to someplace else to get it. Anyway, when you take the parts out, this is what you get. This plate here connects to a line that is this. This end connects to the stand itself, and you can see that there's a corresponding 
similar type of uh, connection here. It goes in the bottom part of the stand. This screw here is what I was referring to where that other O-ring goes. There's a valve mechanism that is within the body here that when this especially, or I should say when this connection here, which has no on-off switch or control valve, is attached to this long butane type um, canister, the kind that are used for some of the stoves, not the typical Lindell type, that this has a pass-through system so that if you were to not have any kind of a valve mechanism in this particular uh, type of stand, as soon as you connect the canister to this, the gas would come through here and come out through the nozzle. So there's a small valve in here that uh, prevents that from happening. Now I have removed that from one of the stands that I got because I use it with propane. And as I mentioned in the Covia LP gas adapter um, uh, video, you don't want to have a buildup of pressure within the line here because it's not meant for propane, it's meant for lower pressure fuels such as butane or the butane, uh, isobutane propane mixes. And so I removed the valve from the body. Of course I kept the parts, but the access to that valve is through here and there's a small O-ring that is beneath here. So this is what the stand looks like and then when you open it up, this is what it has. It's a very nice looking little stand and the, the the stove itself sits on top of here it just screws on to the top this little collar here will unscrew if you do that these legs become very loose and if they get too loose they will fall out of their small detents that are part of the mechanism here and you will have to then fiddle around with it to get it back into into form this Connecting, connection here is for this typical Lindell type backpacking type canister, the uh, isobutane, butane, propane mix type canisters that you find routinely for backpacking stoves. It has a small control valve here that controls the flow of gas. Again, when using the Covey LP gas adapter, you will not want to have any, any buildup of pressure in the line. But other than that, this controls the pressure, uh, the flow of fuel from the canister through this line. Normally, if you were to connect this to the canister and have nothing connected to this, nothing would happen if you opened up the valve because the valve here in the stand will prevent any flow of fuel through it. When you put the, stand, uh, the stove on top of this and screw it on, it will depress the valve and allow free flow of gas vent into the stove. So that's what, so this little valve here is what controls it. For those types of stoves, like the Primus lab burner that I was showing, which has its own separate control valve, if you open this up with the propane, you want to leave the control valve open for that particular stove or any other similar type of stove that's sitting on top of the stand so that you have a pass through system. But for any other type of fuel, you can control the flow either through this or through the valve that is on the, on the stove itself. This secondary system that is here comes like this and this simply attaches and screws on. It's still very loose when this is screwed on. Uh, this plate is very flexible, but apparently there's a small O-ring that's in here that prevents leakage. I don't have a canister to, to test this out with, so I only can assume that this is the way it works. But uh, there's a small O-ring in here that I assume, again, will uh, prevent the uh, escape of gas from the canister, these long butane cylinders uh, that you can get, apparently, uh, in some places. But this thing spins otherwise, and so it's obvious that the, there can't be much of a prevention of gas flow from around this connection here. As you can see, the overall design of this is very similar to the Fire Maple. It has a connection here that goes to the body. It has a screw on the bottom, which is 
probably housing a valve that is very similar. As you can see, it's got a small valve in there. This collar here is shorter than the one on the Fire Maple, which again would allow a greater degree of insurance that you are tightening the O-ring enough for any uh, stove that might be placed on it. This is, of course, the connection here for the canister, or in the case of the Covia adapter, the, uh, the adapter itself. And then again, it has a, a small control valve. And again, very similar to the Fire Maple in that respect. This does not come with that other adapter that allows those Asian type butane canisters to be used. This is only the Lindel type connector that comes with it. If you were going to use the Covia LP gas adapter, as I'm showing here and on a previous video, you would then connect this to this portion of the uh, hose setup and just screw it on gently. And then this would go to the propane bottle. As again, just to emphasize this, if you then put a stove on here, you will then make sure that that line is open. One of the things that you have to be very careful about, and again, I have removed the valve from here. So if I connect the propane cylinder and open up this valve, there will be immediately gas coming through here if there's no stove on here. If that wasn't the case and I had not removed the valve, and the valve was intact as it comes from the factory, if you were then to attach this to a propane cylinder and open up the valve, nothing would happen immediately because this is a closed system. This valve would prevent any escape of gas. The pressure would then build up in the line. And as I've indicated before, with propane, it's a much higher pressure. It could cause some failure at, in some part of the system. So if you ever are going to use this adapter with propane, you must be very clear about this possibility of buildup of pressure. However you decide to work it out, whether you put the stove on with the valve intact, but of course when you put the stove on, it'll depress the valve, provide an open system, and of course then you have the valve open on your stove. You now have an open system so that when you open up this valve, it complete, it allows uh, the movement of gas through the line and through the stove. But if you forget about that, and you have a closed system and you open this up, you could find yourself in some trouble. This is one of the stands that I have with the intact valve. You can see that there's a small copper colored uh, dot in the middle, which is the valve. The pin that is part of the stove apparatus will push that down when this is attached. So basically all you would do is just screw this in. If this was the propane type apparatus that I've been talking about, you would then, before you attach anything to anything, you would open up this valve so that there's no possibility of buildup of pressure within the line. You would then attach the other end to the part that would go to the propane cylinder and then you would control the gas flow through that small control valve that's near the adapter. One of the things that you can see here is that this shoulder that is on the Fire Maple stand is fairly high, and as a result, it gets close to, or can, contact some types of uh, stoves that might be put on it that have a plate that prevents tightening the stove too much. Uh, I'm not sure that I like that. I, I'd like to be able to have a little bit more space. The Brunton stand is different than the Fire Maple in that this shoulder or collar is not as high and it allows a greater degree of ability to compress the O-ring that is on the stand.